Hello, welcome to Maths with J. So here we want to find the values of x and y that satisfy these two equations at the same time. And these are unusual, kind of unusually easy to deal with because both of them have got y equals. Now what I would always do when I'm solving these kind of equations is to number them so that we could refer back to them if we want to. But to start with, all we really need to do is to say, well, if y equals 8 minus x and y equals 3x plus 2, then 3x plus 2 must be equal to 8 minus x. So let's just write that down. So 3x plus 2 is equal to 8 minus x. And then we've just got an equation in x. So we can solve for x first of all. Once we've found x, then we can use either equation 1 or 2 to find what y is. So let's get the x's on one side. So 3x plus x is 4x. And then subtract 2 from both sides. So 4x is 6. So x is 6 divided by 4. So you could either write that as 3 over 2 or 1.5. And then which equation do you think would be easier to use to find y? We could choose either 1 or 2, so let's substitute in 2. And then we're going to use the other one to, uh, to check anyway, so whichever way around you do it, you're going to use the, the other one to do your check. So we're substituting 2, and that gives us that y is 3 times 1.5 plus 2, so 4.5 plus 2, 6.5. And then hopefully, when we check this out, it will all work okay. So we're going to check in 2. No, check in 1, because we've already substituted in 2, haven't we? Right, so check in 1. So we get that um, 8 minus 1.5 is equal to 6.5. So we're right. So the answer is that x is 1.5 and y is 6.5.